Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to stacking. Let's continue and probably conclude the main story here. So, here we see this gate is underwear shaped, so somewhere around here is that guy with underwear on his head. And here's a whole different section that we're going to deal with, I guess, later. So we need to find him and use his wedgie ability. There he is. So we want to get in that guy. Let's up it up a couple of characters. No, oh, he was too big. I know what the hijink was that I missed. It was something I tried, but apparently I tried it on the wrong character or, or did some did something wrong. So we will go back to the last level and help me use Simpering Sap and get that. And it turns out the last level was actually in a whole level. Sister, mother, I found you. Stop it, that vile blubbering and help me, you nitwits. So, was one of the German kids inside the... inside the Baron? I wasn't paying enough attention to to the video to see that. Oh well, let's see. What do we need here? Is this... we need a black lung kid. Let's find a kid with black lung cough. Um, coal dump? No. Brush clean? No. Need black lung cough. Is that... Toot? No. Black lung cough. There we go. And then parasol spin. Get to this point. She just puts it up there to stop it. Interesting. Now, black long cough. Really? Oh, it's not a black long cough, is it? It's a, a scream ability of some sort. Uh, who has a scream ability? I think. She has scream for help. Maybe this will work. Maybe that's why we get in that reference. So loud. I just pound it down to flat pieces. And the birds, seagulls come and take them. Need them. LARP Alright So One of the things that's noticeable here is that even though we've got almost all the hijinks it's not really like all these characters in this final scene are really just totally blinked out gold. We have a couple. I'll grant you that. Let's see. So we've got to figure out a way to catch this one's attention. That section's still closed off. We have a pepper character, we'll take that in case that's something. These are mostly people, I guess, from 
from the the train. I'm not seeing anybody really from the other two levels. Again, they're secretly squeezing all of these people back this way. Low cold air, tap dance, scream for help. I don't think I need any of those characters. Supposed to go like hammer time me? No. Belly bump him. Now here's ability is shovel coal. So maybe he just needs the shovel and the bird is just a misnomer. So yeah, I think shovel is gonna be part of it. And if Shovel's gonna be part of it, that probably limits us down to a character that's right above that. Who would be a character right above this height? I don't know. Let's just hop into somebody and take this guy. So this is the guy that was supposed to be tickled with the Feather Duster character. And I must have never done it. Let's see. There we go. I guess I just had to do it. Hmm. Felt like there was something more to this, but nope. Shovel that. Hit him with a rock. Get the bad man, Mr. Ruffles. <laughs> oh, Mr. Ruffles really does work move. Interesting. You thought he was a teddy bear, but no, he's a real bear. Either that or the little boy uh, is some kind of crazy psychic. Soot covered peasants are hopeless guards. Levi, is that you? I thought you might need a hand, Charlie. Hobo Team Bravo, go, go, go. <laughs> You're all clear, Charlie. Make it count. So, we are now trapped in this fenced-in section, and we're doing a secondary boss fight. Which is, alright, this is cool. Uh, it's not feeling like challenges, though. Uh, there's only really one solution here. Let's see. We want to flare. 
unstack and then do this. Oh, actually, no. It's flare both of these. Then flare and then unstack. <laughs> you get a really explosive cut cutscene that you really didn't expect happening in this game at all. This is a pretty funny gag. Pretty funny gag to do a cutscene. Time for a trim, boy. Alright, so we've got a new bad guy, and he is playing scissors, so we need rock. Oh, quick, 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 quick. That's not going good. Take him down, Charlie. Alright. So that guy didn't. No, 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 stay away. Stay away. So I've got to find the guy with rocks on his head. Beat him. Rock attack. That knocks him in there. Get him. So that's one of the four solutions. Let's see. We can try and sit here and, and knock him. But he beats me because now he has paper. This is a rather ridiculous situation. So now I need scissors. Scissors to take his paper. Where is he? Where is he? He's right there. What did he just run into? He run, ran into rock. So let's run into paper. This doesn't quite work. It doesn't quite work. And he's really playing here. It's a little too fast paced of a thing to try. Let's see. So I gotta go out here and switch and then get up. There we go. Strike two. So now he's gonna try to go for scissors. Let's tie. What can you do then? Darn it, he got me. I like the little animation where I just get throwing all the pieces there. That's kind of cool. Uh, that obviously was going to be the way you died. Always. Alright, I got rock. He's in rock. What's he going for? Paper. So he's going for paper. I'll go for scissors. See if I can knock him out, and I did it. Third time's the charm. Right? So now do I just hit him? There you go. Hit him when he didn't even have anything. And I hold him down. Smush him to the ground. And end well met. Are you okay, son? Where's the Baron? I'm fine, Dad. The Baron is gone for good, I think.
Goodwins. She was the one that kicked the boxes too, I believe. Charles, we need we need to help those poor orphans out. Hold on, I got an idea. A few moments later. Hobo helicopter freezes them all. Freeze them all. You're the best, Charlie. Thanks for saving us. Looks like you're quite the hero, son. I'm proud of you. I'm just a Blackmore dad. Ain't no mess we can't address. Blackmore family motto. Sometime later, back at the Blackmore cottage. Papa! Gather around everybody, I've got news. Today at my new job they handed out bonuses and a holiday roasted pigeon. It's your favorite, right Charles? Charles is gone! He's back at the Royal Train Station. Remain calm everyone, we'll form three rescue teams. Agnes, call your sister Adelaide and... Don't worry so much dear, he's just visiting his old drifter friend. You know, you're right, if we've learned one thing, it's that Charlie can take care of himself. Now there is a real problem with, with them going, Charlie, Charles... Uh, back and forth there. And so here's our credits with no music, oddly enough. Uh, you would think a game that has been playing this classical music the whole time that, it, that, that they'd bother to at least play that again here with the credits. Uh, not a really big team worked on this, I don't think, because this was during a time in Double Fine where they had their company break up into several smaller teams and work on separate little games and it's it's kind of a shame that this game is so little because it now mostly looks like they're never going to uh, make a sequel They're it wouldn't really surprise me if they did it hasn't been that long uh, since it came out 2011 about five years so they could potentially come back to it. And considering this is Double Fine that is about to release Psychonauts 2, the, uh, that game came out like 15 years ago, if I was just to guess a random number. So it's still on the ta still a possibility. I don't know if it's on the table to them or not. But it's a, it's a real shame this game is so short. Uh, we still have the DLC to do. So... Thanks for playing Hit Back. You could have done a little bit better on the cutscene here. It, it seems like in a lot of ways they've... I'm hitting back and it's not working. I had to hit B. It seems like they just didn't want to spend the budget to do voice acting while this game just screams that it needs voice acting. Uh, they didn't put the budget in to do any real, like, uh, audio effects the music's fine and all but it's it's probably pretty cheap music if I was to guess and there's the levels you could do some more levels one or two more uh, at the end of the day you can't this is about an eight-hour game so if they doubled it and it was a 16 hour game it would have been, felt a lot nicer uh, they did a weird ending there with the rock paper scissors here's the helicopter here we have everything here except the hijink which doesn't I don't believe show up here maybe this will light up we'll come back and look at it when it's not gold and let's see let's talk to Levi uh, where'd he go he must be in here Charlie you got your family back 
Alright. That's all it said. And this was new too because this was a puzzle. So you have this hub world which is its own level and then you had three other levels and then the ending. There's a hobo character. Nice digs you got here, kill. Good. So let's quickly look. Make sure there aren't any new collectibles or challenges or anything. Nope. So, I wanted to cover this game as as we run towards the one thing we missed. I wanted to cover this game to show a different way by far that you could have uh, you could have made an adventure game. This is considerably different. Here we have like one hijink to do. I know that's why I came here. You didn't really have to re remind me, but thanks for doing it. Uh, you can have a 3D world and an adventure. You could have inventory. Now this game had the gameplay loop of stacking characters to get your inventory. So you would go into a specific character and go to, to get an item. But effectively you are just getting an item then. And by getting that item you are then um, you are then able to use it in multiple ways to beat these challenges which are very clearly laid out versus something like Sam and Max or a traditional point and click adventure game of any sort. Those games often will only very subtly hint at what you're supposed to do and in the worst cases not even tell you at all or arguably have some small indication that is easy to miss uh, about what you're supposed to do and where you're supposed to go. We'll come through here. And move this feather duster character and The hint system in this game is really well done. Uh, for a second there, I thought the store was open. No, it's just dark. Uh, it's kind of ironic, though, isn't it? In a lot of ways, that you you can either have a game like Sam and Max that takes you hours and hours to wander around and do it. And I guess if I had not done any of the clues or not known figured out any of this stuff it may have taken a little a little bit longer we could have gotten up to maybe a 12 hour game if that was the case but it but that would have been two very repetitive actions that are the same repetitive actions here's the guy there you go tickle gas so that's all we wanted and can we What, 99%? We missed the character. Ooh. Interesting. Who did we miss? We're gonna have to want, run around here and figure out the character we missed. Uh, well, that certainly gives us something more to do. Can we get a hint? Well, it's G. I've forgotten we missed a character. Somebody named with a G name. Uh, yeah, can't can't we get a medium length game that has clues? That's an adventure that has a decent story. Uh, this story is kind of weird. I, I wouldn't really raise up this game for the fact of its story. I would raise up this game for many of the other things it did, but but the story is its its own separate thing and I really wouldn't want to see a ton of other games try to tell something like this. It's funny. But 
Yeah, it's probably a bad idea to run around here in this setup. I probably want to be in as large of of uh, characters I can be in. Let's see. It kind of drops the ball at the end. I will admit. This, the, I don't know. I think the first boss fight was fine. I think that follows the logic and does everything you would expect from this game. Uh, it also kind of drops the ball, if you think about it, uh, in, let's see, the fight in, in talking to people. There is actually a considerably small amount of talking in this. Alright, so we can't open this. This is our as far as we can go. Maybe I can fly up somewhere. If I had a soup. Good. Let's see. Like, is there a bird somewhere? that I can get into. No, this is the platform that we were just looking at, so I don't need that. This guy. This guy must be who we need to get into, I bet. Can we tickle him? Give me somebody bigger to hop into. Yeah, hop into this guy, interesting. Hop into that one. Hop, hop into that one. Box is off limits. We only open the box when the kids are out of control. Let's just spill some on it. I miss somebody else somewhere else. Because that guy's just gonna like look at me. I don't think I can jump into the back of that guy. Let's run back. We're at 99% done. Would be a pain. Would be a major pain to sit here and not get that 100%. But I may have to end this recording here and we'll, we may very well just uh, move on. Well, no, I'll just look up the answer like a normal person instead of wandering around I 
I have had to several times look up the answer because the hijinks, uh, the hijinks characters are simply just, well, the solutions to the hijinks are just things that aren't mentioned. There's no hints for that. And that's a shame. And then the specific characters you're looking for, there's no real way to find those without Make sure we got in him. Yeah. So yeah, I, I think that's gonna be it for the main game. It, it has some flaws. It's not a perfect game by far, but it is. It presents some interesting things that could be done with point-and-click adventure games. Uh, to slightly improve it. Now Grim Fandango particularly was the only major point and click adventure game I can think of right now that was 3D and it, it's kind of its own special thing so much that I, I think it didn't sell as much as they wanted but I'm not sure if you can say that's because it was 3D and then mostly point and click adventure games are gone and this is not a point and click adventure game because the point and click part is the old fashioned part. It's now very much just a, um, it's all just about an adventure game and get rid of the interface concept of, or the thought that it has to be a point and click. I personally have nothing tied into my interest that uh, have an area. Uh, I personally have no desire to see point and click adventure games not be replaced by a better system if better systems can be found. I'm not that nostalgic for it. Maybe I never turned into her? I don't know. Unfortunately, yeah, I'm going to have to end this recording here. We will be starting the DLC next recording, so it's not like I'm just going to make a recording and get this one last character whose name starts with a G, I'm pretty sure. I would hope. Uh, it's a shame that this just doesn't help, it help you any. I think the hijinks, collections, and challenges all being kind of in the same menu is could be better uh, better done, but it's not terrible. Uh, anywho, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share. We're so close at 99%. Subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right is a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.